Gerard of Cremona is often remembered as a European scholar who helped ignite the Renaissance. That part is true. What's usually left out is how he did it. Gerard was born in 12th century Italy. At a time when Western Europe had almost no access to advanced astronomy, medicine, or mathematics, he wanted to study the stars, especially Ptolemy's Almagest. There was only one problem. The book did not exist in Latin. So Gerard did something radical. He left Europe. He traveled to Toledo in Islamic Spain, one of the most advanced intellectual centers in the world. There, science was not locked away. Libraries were full. Scholars debated openly. Mathematics, astronomy, medicine, and philosophy were living disciplines, and they were written in Arabic. Gerard learned Arabic as an adult, not for poetry or religion, but for science. What he found changed everything. He encountered a civilization that had not only preserved Greek knowledge, but corrected it, expanded it, and improved it over centuries. Gerard did not translate directly from Greek. He translated from Arabic scientific texts, texts that already contained the work of scholars like Al-Batani, Al-Khwarizmi, Hunayn ibn Ishaq, Thabit ibn Qurra, and many others. When Gerard translated Ptolemy, he was not translating the ancient original. He was translating Ptolemy as corrected by Muslim astronomers. When he translated medical texts, he was translating Galen filtered through Islamic medicine with errors removed and anatomy clarified. By the end of his life, Gerard of Cremona had translated over 70 major scientific works into Latin. These translations became the backbone of European universities for centuries. Here is the twist most people never hear. Gerard did not rediscover science. He imported it. The Renaissance did not rise in isolation. It rose because Europe plugged into a global knowledge network one that ran through Baghdad, Cairo, Cordoba, and Toledo. And Gerard of Cremona knew this. He never claimed these ideas came from nowhere. He openly acknowledged that Arabic was the language of advanced science in his time. Later generations simplified the story. Greek origins were emphasized. European names were remembered. The bridge was quietly removed. But the bridge mattered. Without Arabic science, Gerard would have had nothing to translate, and without translators like Gerard, Europe would have waited centuries longer to catch up. History likes lone geniuses. Reality works through connections. Gerard of Cremona was not the start of the story. He was the proof that knowledge survives, not by borders or civilization, but by those willing to cross them.